Alright guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to Two Spartans Play Dead Space 3. Uh, I'm here with Victor again, as usual. And today, we're going to go through more of the mission, where we last left off. These two just barely made it on in time on the Eudora. Now we're going through space. You guys are going to enjoy what's coming up. Now, before we begin, I just want to play this audio message. It reflects a little bit of Carter's life. Or Carver's life, excuse me. Who wants to play soldiers? Well, you better get that idea out of his head. Got that? I gotta go. Love you. Right. So we see more to Carver's personality. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and roll out, Vic. Alrighty. Let's get moving. Anyway, guys. So, so what it sounds like during the review? Well, oh, hold on. Go ahead, Victor. Anyway, uh, just what it sounds like from the editing on episode two was that the audio is a lot better now that we're both using Audacity, which is great. Yep. And all uh, right. Now the next thing we're gonna we're gonna show you guys is a uh, a trophy or one of those little collectibles you can pick up in the game. I'm gonna show it. It's right over here. Oh, the artifacts. artifacts. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. I think you can get cool stuff for picking them up later in the game. I, if I remember, uh, if you collect all the artifacts from one group, which you said that was an EarthGov? Yeah. If you collect all EarthGov artifacts, you unlock an EarthGov uh, circuit set at the bench. The circuits cannot be sold, but they can be used on any weapon you'd like, and it gives, and, and it, it gives you them right off the bat if you want to start a new game plus, if you mm -hmm. need circuits, that is. Cool. All it's right, a nice thing. shut up, because this is going to be a pretty amazing cutscene. Alright guys, great way to get thrown into the action. So nice little detail is that's a welder that Isaac just handed him. It's got a flashlight on it, so it works as both. Uh, 
It's similar to the one he found in Dead Space 2, but the one in Dead Space 2 at the beginning of the game didn't have the welding bit on it. It was just a flashlight. Oh yeah, I remember Dead Space 2, it was a tissue laser. Yep. Oh shit, son. Hey, I'm no scientist, but I don't think you should leave the ship without a helmet. <laughs> okay, I found one for you. I thought this was a pretty cool part of the game because it's... I, I instantly thought of Indiana Jones, you know how he always chases after his hat? Yeah. <laughs> well, here, let me just throw you that helmet. Alright, man. Let's Look go. like you kind of want that. <laughs> yeah, you know, just dying without it. Okay. I can see the world. Alright, see you guys, this part you gotta miss mines and flying objects that are coming at you. Wow. Well, Fortunately oh. enough, you can shoot one of them. <laughs> I remember uh, one time I was playing this with Victor before, I started breaking out my capture card and I just face planted into that, uh, that crown, like right there a second ago. God, that was bad. Oh, I almost got hit by that. <laughs> it's also best not to use Space isn't nice. I got hit by mine. Oh god. Go, 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 go. Speed boost. Go up, go up. Oh shit. Pull up. Pull up. You picked the worst time to grab onto it. So, if you, if you saw me, I flew in front of this little thing right here. So it crushed me in between the wall and that little okay. room that they're in. But, alright. That was interesting. I quite honestly feared for my life. That was awesome. <laughs> alright. Now we are at the CMS Roanoke Sovereign Colony Ship. Shipping area. I don't. I have no idea what this is. I don't, it doesn't look like a ship. Yeah, and during it's our like first a station. Yeah, we Victor couldn't tell if it was, you know, the front end, the back end, the side, nobody knows. Oh man, that was confusing. Oh. It's still confusing me to this day. And for Dead Space fans, the oxygen tanks are back, just in case you do run out. Just thought that was a derpy little thing to talk about. Can use a med kit there, buddy. <laughs> oh, no, I'm all right. No, looks like I'm the first person through here in a long time. I'll try to open the cargo doors. Hang on. I got it, Doc. You're not shutting on my watch, or you are. Okay. Alright, I got the lever. Awesome. I have the safe box. <laughs> Getting hard to breathe. How much longer? Yeah, we're working as fast as we can. Works really pale. I can't stop the blinking. Hey, Isaac, okay, meet me at the door got and let troll. you go inside. Uh -huh. Right there, now get in here. Give me a hand. Any minute now. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm like right next to you, so his partner's waiting at the door. Isaac, Ellie's SOS is coming from deeper inside this ship, but I can't leave Rosen in lock. 
Send me the coordinates. I'll go check it out. Here you go. You don't stray too far. That's an order. It's about time he starts issuing orders. <laughs> hey, man. Weren't we just preaching about how nobody else was either? Before we went on a nice space voyage? Jesus. Coffins everywhere. Looks like some kind of a funeral. Why do you say that? Blood stains on the wall are at height. Ah. <sighs> that's no good. Yep. Well, that's nasty. Mm hmm. It's a dead end. Looks like someone shut a bulkhead for quarantine. Nah. Can we cut? Ooh. That did it, did it. And there's a bench, there's a bench on, the on the same circuit. circuit. Bench? Bench? With all the thoughts lines lying around, I bet I can make a better weather weapon than this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's smart thinking. Smart thinking. Did that just come through like twice for you? Because it did for me. No, I heard him. Uh, I heard him stop talking and start talking about something else. Yeah, it it did something weird with the audio playback. Um, huh. that's okay because everyone here has subtitles. All right. Uh, I just want to take off the ammo support as Victor was telling me. Because not that great of a thing here. I'll put on a uh, an electric charge. And then I like to roll without a scope on my evangelizer carbine with shotgun. Vic, you got anything you want to say about the base? Or about the bench? Excuse me. I think I mentioned that last episode about the uh, how the bench works. Yeah. And I can also see from my gameplay how it, how you do it. What's unique about the bench is Throughout the game, if you're playing on class, uh, not classic mode, whatever, wh wh whichever mode this is called, I, uh, I've had like a two-week fix on classic mode, so I can't remember the name of this. But um, throughout the game, you'll find weapon parts everywhere you go, and you can take those parts, bring them back to the bench, and th it pretty much stockpiles those for you. You can either sell them, keep them, use them on your weapon, do whatever you'd like with them. And it's a cool feature. Some weapons you can put a uh, no, lower attachment on it, like uh, Isaac's probably doing his right now. Hmm. Some weapons you can't. And uh, I actually thought I'd pull out the uh, the devil horns for this next part, just for a little laugh. Uh, yeah, we'll pull that out in just one second. Let me just see if there's anything I really want to put on my. Oh hell yeah! I'll put flame blaze on there. Reminds me of Dead Space 2. America. When you get that special effect, it was awesome. And then I also have the electric charge on my carbine. Okay. So while we're at a good spot to just stop and talk real quick, Vic, why don't you describe the devil horns? Alrighty. So. I'll give you a little history on the Devil Horns. Back in Dead Space 2, I never had I never had them originally, but I know about them. They had a weapon in there. It was a foam finger. It had a pointer finger only, unlike where this has the pinky finger extended to. It was a one-shot kill on just about every enemy, and it was overpowered with an extremely high magazine capacity and ammo capacity. The Devil Horns aren't like a normal weapon where you'd hear actual rounds firing and uh, reload. I instead, you hear your character say some pretty funny dialogue. <laughs> and for reloading, where as you would throw a clip in your gun, you just hear an awesome guitar riff. That's pretty fucking amazing. Making weapon. the Devil Horns the most overpowered and funny weapon I've ever seen in any game period. Alright, man. That being said, let's move on to the next part. Now, something I want to talk about real quick as this is going. The doors in, the, in Dead Space 3 always have this satisfying bang that makes you think, oh shit, what the hell's behind me? <laughs> Listen for it. It's a very loud boom, especially if you're playing like I am and have the bass boost on a pair of turtle beaches on. Ah! 
<laughs> nice one, dude. Oh shit. Now, I guess this would be a perfect time to give a little demonstration of how the devil horns work. Do it. Please kill it with fire. Notes. Oh my. That is beyond overpowered. Now, I didn't have to fire that many shots if you heard the dialogue from my character. I just choose to. What, what sucks about this is you get your front flashlight, you don't get a laser to show you where you're pointing, and you don't get a HUD to show you how much ammo it carries. So you don't know if you're about out of ammo, you don't know where you're aiming exactly, but you can kind of use the finger. Yep. Alright guys, we've reached our 16 minute mark. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Keep watching for more videos in the future. We're going to definitely be making more. We have a bunch of fun with the series. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Do your thing. Have a good one.